Hey you guys, how are you guys doing? We are back, back, back for another chit chat. Um, I'm not doing anything. Normally y'all know I'm doing something with my hair, nails, whatever while I'm talking to you guys, but that's not the case here. So anyway y'all, um, it is the end of December. Can y'all believe it? Like, time is going by so fast. I can see what's going on with my hair make sure I have everything twisted because we are going somewhere tomorrow uh, these big juicy twists my hair is still in a blown out state because yeah I'm not gonna wash it for a couple more days it's holding up pretty good though um so you know how we do with these chit chats I talk about what's going on in my personal life I talk about what I'm watching on YouTube and what I'm watching on TV so y'all you know with it being the holidays and we have a lot going on with my family. Those of you who don't know, we are relocating back to Texas. We found a house. When I tell you, I am overjoyed. Overjoyed. And so we are going to be making the trip back in four short weeks. Four weeks? <sighs> yeah, four weeks. Um, we did really good on our house. I thank God for blessing me with a husband who provides, and not only that, but who is smart, intelligent, even though I'm a nurse. And thank you for blessing me with, with patience, Lord, and peace, like honestly. So that's what we're gonna be doing is moving back, heading back to Texas here in a couple more weeks. I will try to vlog, y'all. I am having multiple issues with my camera. So your girl's gonna have to dish out a couple of more dollars, hundreds of dollars, excuse me, to purchase a new camera here early in the year. So more than likely I will have a good month where I'm not doing anything because I need to I need to take a break to get settled into Texas and then I should have my new equipment by then and be ready to show y'all the house, my crazy family. Baby, your mother-in-law, your well, your mama, she's your mama too. Your mama, Billie Jean, is excited. Look, y'all, she's like, I have some home interior pictures. Do y'all know what home interior, y'all know, those of you from the South, you know what home interior, interior, well, it basically was a multi-level marketing company back in the late 80s, early 90s. And so my mom actually got into it too. She was selling these home interior pictures. It was like, Large pictures, short pictures, small pictures, um, basically interior design, uh, decoration, excuse me, statues, plants, whatever. It went out of business um, once these other companies started having their own affordable decorations. But yeah, she said she got some stuff for the house. <laughs> so yeah, um, <laughs> that's been going on. Um, so... I'm gonna really try not to get emotional because even though, let me put my hair back up y'all. Even though I am well, I'm more than well. My cup flows over. We are blessed, excuse me. We are blessed, we are good. Being a empath and being someone who um, automatically I feel when people are hurting, especially when I, when I uh, my friends, when they are hurting or anyone I care about, when they are hurting, I hurt too. Uh, I'm a Leo, so you know, we, we love hard, we're very loyal. Um, and so my, my best friend is going through some things. Um, it's gonna take her a while to get over it and I just been, you know, trying to uplift her and I'm like telling her, you know, just wait, baby. I'm almost there. Uh, just give me, give us a few more weeks and I will sit in that pain with you because you don't have to keep everything to yourself. And I'm, I'm speaking to those you're out there too. Do not keep things in. Talk to someone, find someone, write it down, get it out. It's very, very unhealthy to keep emotions in. So she's going through that and... You know, it's just, just devastating. And, you know, 2020 was a shit fest, for lack of better words. Excuse my language. And then 2021 is a redhead stepchild of 2020. So, you know, it's the unknown, the question mark of, you know, the pandemic and 
you know you got this new the delta variant you got the omarosa variant whatever this thing is uh you have that variant and you best believe the whole purpose of a virus is to continue to change and mutate because it wants to live. So other, it will continue to mutate, y'all. It will continue to do what it what it was trying to live. Okay, so I'm just saying, I'm just putting that out there. It's never gonna go away entirely. Um, even once it settles down, you know, everything settles down for a while, it's still gonna be there. Just like what was it that had a um the bubonic plague? There was like a 10 year old child that actually died from the plague in, was it Las Vegas or New Mexico? Our borders basically here this year. That's crazy to me, you know, the black death. So um, yeah, with everything going on in the world, my friend, um, baby with these kids being out, y'all kid, are y'all kids out driving you crazy? So those of you who don't know, my son was in what's called a micro school, which is exactly what is, you know, it is what it's called. It's a mini school. So his school consisted of only 20 kids and they split split them up um, um, based on age, excuse me. One of the things that was a little disheartening with this school is that they were very heavily focused on um, online learning. And I think at this age, it is pivotal that they do hands-on, that they actually engage the children a little bit more. It's really hard to engage a young learner online. Hell, I work in online education and it's hard for us to engage our 30-year-old adults, you know, for hours. You cannot expect a young child to do that. So needless to say, um, I went ahead and pulled him out, y'all. Um, it's a good time right now because they are on break anyway. And baby, they had my son out. His break for fall is three weeks. Excuse me, winter, three weeks. I was like, yeah, um, <laughs> let me go ahead and pull him out now. So I pulled him out, you know. Um, he wouldn't be in school anyway, I guess my point is, if he was still at the school. But in the meantime, we have continued with homeschooling and we're just doing a little bit, honestly. We do no more than an hour and a half a day. I'm not trying to be really hard on him because we are doing something almost every day, hitting the core and definitely doing a little bit of science. He loves science, a little bit of history. It's so funny. I like to, as far as homeschooling, I'm very lenient right now because I still use a curriculum, but I'm a little bit more lenient. And so I asked JB, okay, for history, would you like to learn about John Lewis or would you like to read about beta cassette tapes? Of course he chose beta cassette tapes, but that's how we do it. I, I allow him to choose which direction he wants to go. We will do something and do all over it, all of it over the course of the next four weeks but I allow him to decide and that encourages him and it makes learning fun, okay? So y'all, that's what's been going on. Uh, Christmas is around the corner. We have no Christmas tree, uh, excuse me, no Christmas tree up because I threw it away. <laughs> I got, we, well, we got rid of a lot of stuff in anticipation for this move. So it really doesn't feel like Christmas to us. Um, JB doesn't even believe in Santa Claus. Look y'all, my child, JB is highly intelligent, so he's a very, he questions everything, which I, I, I do enjoy that about him. He questions everything. He wants to know what, when, how. So the concept or the idea of a Santa Claus made no freaking sense to him. All of this stuff, he literally stopped believing. There was no me trying to encourage him or trying to persuade him because First of all, he's smarter than me. So I was like, uh, it's magic. What the hell you mean? He's just looking at me like, mama. <laughs> so needless to say, JB literally stopped believing in all this stuff um, when he was probably four or five, y'all. So JB was going around telling, he said, well, if I can't tell him he don't exist, I am gonna tell him he's black. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Speaking of, y'all see my Christmas nails? Let's see if they'll zoom in. They probably won't, baby. I did these myself. No, they're not zooming in. They're very cute though, huh? Anyway, so that's what's going on. <laughs> so YouTube, y'all, I've been on this kick. I stopped watching the true crime. And now I'm on the series, I Survived. I think that's on OWN. Is it on OWN or A&E? It's on YouTube, I Survived. 
it is absolutely amazing what the human body can withstand um, what else angel y'all angel aka nancy naps lost her dog shay shay she posted a couple of days ago that shay shay was running after a fox and shay shay is her pit bull dog 11 years old shay shay was running after a fox across the street at her neighbor's house and got hit by a car and at the time i immediately texted her when i saw the video which had been a couple of hours and she said i can't sleep i'm just she was in shock so i said as soon as i wake up i'm gonna call you because it was like it was like three o'clock in the morning my time i don't know what time it was in st louis so I called her and she was she was doing okay you know she said you know I haven't cried or anything but um baby a couple of videos later when she angel if you're watching this I'm gonna have to contact her again a couple of videos later she was in tears I mean absolute shambles because you know I, I don't have any pets or any animals but I get it it's your it's like a family member and she was so upset um that's just so devastating to hear. Linda, aka Linda Lynn. Um, I, I talked to Linda uh, a couple of, um, almost two weeks ago. I need to contact her again. I've just been busy. It's just really, I'm going to say this. Some man ain't shit. It really pisses me off. Because Linda has shared quite a bit that I, I'm not going to share on my platform because it's not my, my role or, or my position to do that. I just, it, it just sickened me to see her pushing her stroller with her babies next to her. I know she's going to make it and she's going to have to go through it. And that's something I told her. I said, look, you're going to have to go through it, unfortunately. And she is. She's going to have to have it. She's going to have a testimony in the end of it. But why should she have to go through it? You know what I mean? Why should she have to go through this knowing that she has an able-bodied husband who keep, who could be providing? Uh, even my husband was pissed. I was telling him about it. And he was like, he ain't shit. I said, he said, my husband's like, I was literally on the phone with Linda. Linda, I don't know, I don't know if Linda, I don't know if you heard him, girl, but my husband was like, tell her to go back home and, and put him out. We're going to talk about another YouTuber, which I didn't even know, Chocolate Capricorn. Girl, Glozell. Y'all, now look, of course I've seen videos of Glozell. Um, Y'all know Glozell is the... Um, comedian she wears the green lipstick i think her youtube name is now glozell green now i haven't checked her out because i'm not subscribed to her and honestly glozell to me is a clown she's like not not to call her a clown i mean her persona and everything is a clown it's like a clown even the green lipstick the wigs the outfits sometime and she does a lot she's a bit much for me so i probably have tuned in about three or four videos of her and that's when i was younger and i got a chuckle but it wasn't it wasn't something that i could tune in on a weekly basis and be like oh let me see what glozell's doing for the younger generation yes but i guess what has happened and, and she hasn't made a video in about a year i remember her being married and i remember her having a child she had a surrogate to carry the child i remember that and so the child is now older she's still like a what a toddler i don't know how old the child is and she has since gotten a divorce and due to y'all know me i'm saying i don't even get a lot of views anymore but i still make a little change glozell apparently is going broke she has gone broke and so what i think is very alarming that i see so often with certain youtubers let me tell you something first off YouTube can never be my only means of income. My lifestyle is set up to where, I'm not even gonna give y'all the numbers. There's a certain amount of money I need to be bringing in to be comfortable. And right now, just doing YouTube wouldn't be it. I would have to be like Ryan's tour reviews. Let me open up some damn eggs. Uh, so I think the problem that Glozell had is that she did not change as YouTube was changing. You can't continue to do the same thing and expect to get 
those numbers, especially when you have so many other newer and younger YouTubers coming down the pipe. It's so oversaturated, you know what I mean? And then of course, uh, um, it, YouTube changes their guidelines and not only that, but because Glozell was doing a lot of videos that catered to a younger audience, once they had, once now you have to submit um, ratings that say, okay, is this for children? She has to say yes, because some of her content is for children. That shuts down your comments. That shuts down the engagements, unfortunately. So it is what it is. Unfortunately, it's, it's sad, but she is not making any money. And I think I saw an interview where I think she was posing for some magazine and they were front and taking a picture in front of a house that she didn't even own. It wasn't even her house. And she was nervous because she was like, we got to hear up and take these pictures before the, the real people come. I'm like, wow, we're, that is messed up y'all. Now there are some other YouTubers I know who quit their jobs and try to become full-time YouTubers. You can't. YouTube is not, even if you are making a substantial amount of money on YouTube, you have to think about benefits. A 401k. I'm thinking about benefits. What what what's the YouTube discipline look like? They don't have one. So my point is, is that you can't put all your nest eggs in one. I have several means of income, and even with that, I'm still like looking at my budget. Like, oh my god, I gotta I gotta find another stream of income because I need to make sure that I have way more money coming in and that I'm able to keep my debt down. Does that make sense? And so it's really sad because you know. I think that her, if I understand that crusty husband of hers, <laughs> okay, Vivian, I should probably edit that out. Her ex-husband was trying to come for some of her coins. Ain't that some shit, girl? So yeah, um, that's basically all I've been really watching on YouTube. Um, haven't really been keeping up with the other YouTubers and what's been going on, but yeah, um, what I'm watching on TV, y'all, I got a long list of what I'm watching on TV. Clearly, I, I need to be packing. I ain't got time to be watching TV. So, y'all, Cruel Summer. I'm going to try this out again. I'm going to make sure I'm sober. Cruel Summer. I'm going to watch it. It's very confusing. It's like three different timelines. I don't know where I'm going, but we're going to watch it anyway. Luna Park is a new series on Netflix. It's very interesting. I think it's Italian-based. It's European. It's not from here. Me personally, I like to, even though you can do the caps, closed captions and subtitles, excuse me, in English, I prefer to watch a movie in the original language because oftentimes when you translate it, you lose some of the emotion when it's, original, when it's acted in the original tongue or the original language, if that makes sense. So Luna Park, girl, Rewatch Leon the Professional with Natalie. Natalie, the girl from V is Vendetta. She was only like 11, 12 years old in this movie. Leon the Professional. Y'all seen it from the 90s where um, the hitman takes in the preteen girl after the corrupt DA slaughtered her entire family. Look, y'all, I watched it not even halfway and I was like, this, this movie is inappropriate as hell it's inappropriate because when i was a kid i thought that leon had a more of it was more of a father daughter relationship but she made a pass at him when he asked she asked him his name and he said leon and she said oh that's cute and he spit out the milk like an embarrassment and that's not the only time like she apparently because i stopped watching it but then i, I did some research that wasn't the only time. So it made me a little uneasy. I'm like, yeah, Hollywood is sick. Hollywood likes to throw the, the crap in your face. So I was like, oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay, so I started watching Christmas movies again. If you're looking for Christmas movies, they have them on OWN, um, the OWN network via YouTube. So ready for that. Hellbound. Hellbound. That's one of the ones that I, I watched the first episode and I'm like, what is this? You got King Kong, come, you got three King Kongs coming off this man and basically doing him to hell. I was like, oh, my spirit can't take this. I'm not going to be able to watch that either. <laughs> 
So I am watching a series, another series called Chestnut Man. Very good. I'm on episode three. Looking good. So I also added a documentary called White Boy Rick. White Boy Ricky. Who is basically, I heard about this, this kid. He was a teen drug dealer who later became a FBI informant. Um, very interesting. So I'm going to watch that documentary. And there's something else on here. Child, love and marriage, Huntsville. When I tell you, I watched the reunion. I watched one and two. Are y'all watching love and marriage, Huntsville? So it was, okay, so, okay. So I don't know all the names, but I do know who Melanie and Martell is. Because that's, basically they should change the thing on show to love and marriage, Melody and Martell's ratchet ass. So look, Martell, he's fine. The problem with Martell is he knows he's fine, one, and he thinks that he's, he thinks every woman wants him. What makes him ugly though is his mannerisms and this almost um, way he carries himself of, I'm going to cheat, you're going to accept it because I'm fine and you're going to take me back. That's how I feel like he is. He is so narcissistic narcissistic he is the type honestly i feel like he's the type that if is her name melody or melanie if she's not careful he can become abusive because did y'all see there was a one point part one episode where they were arguing and he tried to come for her and the men were holding him back and he's not small dude no legs are small but he works out clearly has a nice upper body physique so I'm like, mm -mm. I was a little surprised because Carlos King was also the producer, hosted the reunion. He did a good job. Baby, he was asking those questions like you could not hide from Carlos. I mean, hell, he produced it. He knows what questions to ask, right? So I guess Miss Thang had apparently um, had some fellatio. Um, her pocketbook was uh, being lifted. <laughs> Okay, Vivian, you are 41 years old. Get your shit together. Okay. So she had oral sex performed on her. So then Carlos asked, do you ever remember? And this is when they were separated, still married, though. But she denied all this stuff, y'all. So he was like, okay, so did you do anything? And here's Martello. Oh, no, he was looking like this the entire time. like. And so she's like, um, I don't remember that. Girl. You've been with your husband. What? They y'all been married for 12 years. You go outside your marriage. I'm thinking, according to you, for the first time, you remember him going down on you, but you don't remember. You don't remember that thing coming to your face. You you don't know if he's slapping you in the face or you know poking you in the eye or something. You know, she's lying, y'all. There's no way you're lying, girl. But he was sitting. Look. He was sitting, Martel was sitting on the side, heated, but he he has no room to talk because you had a whole baby. You were supposed to be quarantined. The governor said, stay your ass inside. Martel said, no, I'm going to go to the gym and um get somebody pregnant. That's what he, <laughs> that's what he did, honestly. So y'all, that is it. I am silly. This chit chat is going to be a little lengthy. It is what it is, y'all. Please have patience with me. I will be having a little break coming up i'll be i will announce it because i'm like i said issues with the computer jesus let me gave me the strength to record this baby and so i do have a couple of hair related videos i'm going to produce for y'all before i go on break what well, was country i pray for you guys i'm praying over you guys baby i pray for peace over you guys and thank you so much for your support thank you so much for watching take care bye